Hi there and welcome back to the Smith Family Ranch. We are about to go lure our calves, Bundle of Joy and Dibs, into the corral so that we can get a hair follicle sample and send it in to get tested. So let's go get that started. <laughs> Today we are um, getting samples of the six month old calves so that we can get their genes tested to verify the sire, their, um, their coat color, and to get them registered. So if, if we want to get them registered, we have to get them their genes tested. So what we're going to do is we're going to take, get off my toe, we're going to take a piece of their hair, we're just gonna pull it out, we gotta make sure that we get a piece of the, the root. And it's hard to do. We don't need a lot. Damn, this one's hard. Let's try a different piece. All right, so as you can see, it has the roots on it, and that's what we wanna make sure that, that it has. And we don't need a lot, so this should be plenty. All right, so now we have the hair follicles, and I don't know if you can see, but the root is right there, and that's what we need to put on the slip. <clears throat> so we'll take the slip. Open it up. And you just need to make sure the root is in there. And close it. And it will stick to it. Like so. And I can just cut this off right here. And we'll do the same for divs. making sure that we get some roots. This one kind of fell apart a little bit, but we'll make sure that it's in there. Like so. Do the tights. All right, so after we fill out this information with the name and all of our stuff, we'll fill out a couple more paperwork items, send it in, and then we'll be able to get the information back via email in just a few weeks. All right, so basically what we've done is we pulled the hair samples of each calf. We had a black calf, which is Bundle of Joy, and we had a red calf, which is Dibs. Uh, with those two calves, they're about six months old, and so we are members of the American Aberdeen Association. Um, and so these cattle are Aberdeens, uh, also known as low lines. Um, and basically, they're pretty much a mini uh, Angus, uh, essentially. So they're, they're great for little farms like ours um, and to raise because of how small they are um, and, and whatnot. And so what, what we have to do in order to register these calves is we have to send off for DNA testing. And we do that at six months age um, with a hair sample. And so is what we do is we test for the color coat um, to see if they carry the red gene or not. Um, and then what kind of red gene they also carry. And we also confirm both the sire and the dam of the parents of the calf. And so with that, um, 
we're trying to go more toward the red side, so that's why we want to know the uh, the color of the coat that they carry. So, for instance, the red calf dibs was actually born from a black cow uh, because her the bull and the red or the black cow carry both carry the red gene, um, and so they can put out a, black, a red calf, which happened. And so we would just want to confirm all of this um, and. Based, the reason why we have to do this also is for the American Aberdeen Association to also register these cows so that we can keep the integrity of the breed is essentially why they do it um, because you can have percentage uh, Aberdeens which basically means that they have a certain percent of Aberdeen in them. We have full blood um, and in order to confirm that we have to send this DNA testing, which will confirm that the sire was full blood and the dam is full blood, which makes this calf full blood. Um, so that's why we are doing what we're doing, um, and we hope that uh, we'll be updating you guys here in a few months. Um, we thank you for watching and um, following along this journey of ours as we homestead. Um, if you wouldn't mind, please like this video, subscribe, and hit that little bell button. Um, also, I believe we're on Instagram and Facebook. You can follow us on as well. That we do with some more, more updates there. It's just Smith Family Ranch. Um, and as soon as we get the test results, we will update you guys. Alrighty, thanks again for watching.